Radiation people have historically taken no prisoners. So when treating an advanced stage head and neck cancer, we not only treat the gross disease, but we treat microscopic disease. Frequently that involves treating the entire neck from the eyebrows down to the collarbones. That is very toxic. That has lots of side effects. And even with the fancy way of bending the radiation with IMRT, it still is a lot of misery for patients. We made a leap of faith a while back that said, you know, if we're given induction chemotherapy to address microscopic disease in a person's chest or liver, why wouldn't it work in somebody's neck? And so we did a trial that looked at induction chemotherapy to predict how much radiation we should do. And in people that got induction chemotherapy where the cancer shrunk by over 50%, we did not do any elective nodal radiation. We just treated the gross disease. And remarkably, out of 100 patients, only one person failed out of field in the good responders. And the important thing was the good responders had much less need for G-tubes, and none of them required a G-tube after all of this was done. This, I think, is practice changing, where we say, you know, we don't have to do these big, nasty fields. We can do very confined radiation therapy, give credit to the medical oncologists that we've never given credit before, and be much more focused in what we treat, which will change the practice of radiation.